on the GX390 will start. First of all, let's see if it'll spark. Let's plug out. Pull the plug against the head, pull the recoil, and give it a spark. Make sure it stops it on the on position. Okay, we got no spark. So we need to investigate it further. Try a new plug. That's the one you need. NGK DPR 6US. Still no spark. The next thing to check is the oil alert. Because if the oil is faulty, it'll stop the spark. The oil alert is here, it's disconnected. So now, still no spark. The next thing to try is disconnect the stop switch. Still no spark. Now we need to investigate the coil. So we've got a bolt here, bolt here, here, and here, and here. So we need to come off, take the covering off, and see how the coil is sitting there. Once you remove all the bolts, you'll see you can't get it off until you take this carburetor out. So if you take that off, one bolt here, one bolt here, and one other top. Undo them and remove that. Now we can see the ignition coil. This plug here with a black and red lead. That just sends. Two ways to the on off switch, and the other one goes to the oil control. So, as you can see, there's a lot of rust in this flywheel and the actual coil. So, we need to take this ignition coil off, clean this fire flywheel and the coil, and see if we can get the spark back. As you can see with the coil, the rust there, rust there, and the flywheel is the same, the magneto. So, we need the emery cloth now. Clean both these off, just the magneto on the flywheel. Hopefully, we get a spark. This obviously has run for some time. Okay, as you can see, I've cleaned this up now. That's the magneto. Also, I've cleaned up the ignition coil. I use a little Dremel, I did, but you can use sandpaper or whatever. When you put the coil back on, to the machine, you need to leave an air gap between the oil, uh, ignition coil and the flywheel. I use one of these, it's about a millimeter thick. If you want to go nothing like that, and you need another push, take that off a cigarette paper. But you must remember to put this air gap in, or it won't work at all. Okay, magneto's there. So, what I would do, I'd use that bit of cigarette paper. Put it in there, then I put the ignition coil on top, and the magnet will draw together and hold the paper there while you tighten it up for your air cap. As you can see, the green cap paper for the air caps underneath, this is on top, the screws are now tighten it up. Turn this till the paper comes out, and everything should be fine. Right, it's all fixed in place now. We put the cowling back on and 
spark on right there. Let's see if we got a spark. Okay, finally got a spark on this. We need to be careful with this particular coil with a full prong when you're testing it. This is your oil alert. Disconnect that. This is for your stop switch. Now, when you're testing for a spark, connect these two together, like so. If you got a spark then, well and good. Then connect your oil alert. If you still got a spark, you've got a problem with this switch. So if you got a spark, with the stop connected here, and the oil alert connected here, and then when you connect the switch up, you've got no spark, your problem is here. Thank you. As you can see, we're all connected back now. So now, we'll try to start the machine. That's our job done. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.